Hello parents and athletes, I'm Pastor Wooten and congratulations on the start of a new season. What an exciting time, every team gets to start fresh. It's one of the great things, everybody has a chance to win, everybody's practicing hard, competing for those victories. But you know, really when it comes to Upward, there's more than just winning games. The, the bigger picture is making friendships, developing character, learning skills, learning good work ethic and habits. There's more to the race than just winning the games. And so while this is an exciting time and a fresh opportunity for everyone, there's a bigger picture. And right now in our world, there's a bigger picture as well. You know, even just the opportunity to play in these sports is something to be thankful for. We've learned in the last few months, there's a lot of things that we often take for granted that we can be thankful for. And right now, there are researchers around the world that are in a race of their own. They're trying to find a cure for COVID. And as they're racing to find that cure, it isn't about who finds it first. It's really about finding the right cure, finding one that's safe, that's effective, that will um, save lives. And so we really need to pray for these researchers as they're looking for those vaccines to help us and protect us. In our world today, there's another pandemic going on. And that pandemic is the pandemic of sin. We live in a world that is full of anger and violence and oppression, and injustice, lust, immorality, bitterness. And as we think about this world of sin that we live in, we, what we really need is the right cure. Just like we saw for the pandemic, it isn't about who finds the cure first, it's about finding the right cure that will help the most people. And so, just like COVID, um, sin can seem like a disease that's asymptomatic. I don't always see it. But unlike COVID, everybody is infected with the disease of sin. And it's something that it's easy to spot in somebody else. I see what's wrong in their life, but it isn't so easy to see it in ourselves. And so we need a cure, a vaccine. And that, that cure is Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. We're all afflicted by this disease called sin. The question is, do we see it in ourselves as easily as we see it in others. Uh, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is called the great physician because he is that which can heal us and bring us cleansing and forgiveness and pardon from our sin. In, in, in Matthew chapter 9, Jesus said these words, But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician but they that are sick. In this passage, Jesus was, he was having dinner with some people that were outcasts in their society, and he was being re rebuked for that. And he said, those who are sick, they're the ones that go to a doctor. You know, if you don't think you're sick, you're not going to go. Get checked out, get tested, get healing, whatever that may be. Jesus goes on to say, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. Learn what it means. Those who are sick need to be healed. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And so, if we're going to receive healing for our souls and for our world from Jesus Christ, Jesus has come to call sinners, not the righteous, not those who are already clean, but those who need a Savior, to repentance, to, to turn to Him. So as you think about this virus that's spreading through our world, I just wanted this week just put in your mind to think about another virus in our world. And I think we see it. Can, can I just give you a couple questions to think about? Do you see the world that our mess is in? Do you feel that our world is afflicted by the virus of sin? Can I ask you a more personal question? Have you ever come to see the fact that you're a sinner and that you need a Savior? Have you ever come to Christ as the only cure for the affliction of sin? You know, we live in a frail, mortal world. Our world's really a mess because of this thing called sin, the wrongs that we do to one another. 
And so if that's something you haven't considered, I'm going to invite you to look at a couple of options on the end of this video. One selection will give you a chance to look at a little brochure. It's a, it's a digital version of this brochure right here called Seeking the Cure. And it talks more about how Jesus is the cure for the sin pandemic. The second link just takes you to our website, Westgate Baptist Church, and just gives you a chance to um, explore a little bit more about what it means to believe in Jesus. So we just invite you to consider Christ and the cure for sin. Thanks so much. Have a great week, and I hope you enjoy the games, uh, and your team does great, and we'll talk to you again next week. Um, I'm Pastor Wooten. Thank you so much for a few moments of your time. God bless you, and have a great day.